Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, still holding on to a dry weather this evening, but uh, rain not that far off. Let's first take a look at the live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, the local picture, and we're still dry. Clouds have been on the increase. Temperatures falling through the 30s. Raindrops arriving well after midnight towards uh, daybreak, and really the best chance for any uh, rain shower activity tomorrow would be during the morning and especially early on. So the threat tracker now through Wednesday, despite some showers coming up for tomorrow, nothing really significant or serious as far as uh, you know big storms and adverse weather. Take a look at the uh, time lapse start of the campus at URI. Oh boy, that snowpack has been steadily dwindling each afternoon. Beautiful sunset this evening just before seven o'clock. The clouds on the increase in advance of our next weather system headed our way uh, for tomorrow morning. In the meantime, in Providence, cloudy skies and 39 on a light west southwesterly breeze at seven. Relative humidity coming in even at 50 percent. Hello, Warwick 38. We head over to Coventry with clouds streaming in right now and a temperature still above freezing at 36. Most areas staying above the freezing mark. If anything, it'll start to tick up towards daybreak. We'll be approaching 40 by early tomorrow morning. Here's a satellite and radar composite showing the clouds streaming in. This area of moisture and showers is in response to mild air trying to work in, even though it's cool right now. In its attempt to work in, it's creating the clouds and the showers. So by tomorrow afternoon, briefly, we're going to get up to about 50 to 55 degrees. Then a very strong cold front comes through late afternoon and early evening. It just really knocks the temperature down. Let's show it to you in detail hour by hour, starting off this evening and overnight as the clouds start to roll in. Blips of green on your St. Patrick's Day Tuesday morning, representing some rain showers. At 6 a.m., temps in the mid to upper 30s. Notice the temperatures going up throughout the day. The bulk of the showers in green are starting to move offshore by noon. So most of tomorrow afternoon, despite the chance of a shower, is, is essentially dry. But the temperature is pretty nice, low in mid 50s. Notice the sunshine breaking through. Uh, mid to late afternoon. Again, an isolated shower can't be ruled out, though most of the afternoon hours should be dry. Now the temperatures start to drop off. This is around 730 tomorrow evening. It's already in the upper 20s and getting even colder tomorrow night. So a chill is on tap for midweek, both uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So rain showers likely tomorrow morning by 11 a.m. 48. A little bit of sunshine. We'll call it partly sunny the second half of the day. Nice spike in the temperature mid uh, 50s for highs. Just an isolated shower. I think most of the time the hours during the afternoon uh, should be shower and rain free, but temperatures pretty nice. Really starts to cool down tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Don't want to forget about this, the wind. By late tomorrow afternoon, very gusty. Strong winds about 40, 45 miles per hour, just driving in some of that colder air. So cold and dry both Wednesday and Thursday. All eyes on Friday. The jury's still out on this, but a potential coastal storm should it come close enough, most Mostly in the form of rain, perhaps a little bit of wet snow. Temperature at 44. Right now I'm leaning towards the storm coming close enough to give us some precipitation. I'm thinking Friday evening, Friday night, and then it's moving out of here early Saturday morning. That sets up for a dry, cool weekend. Partly sunny skies both Saturday and Sunday with uh, temperatures in the 40s. A little wet tomorrow morning and then drier but windy in the afternoon. All right, Tony, thank you. And there's much more.